Hey, what's up guys? Today I decided to do a video about an add-on for Firefox and Google Chrome that I think is just absolutely wonderful. It's just a necessity for browsing the internet today. Now when you start up your browser, the first thing you're going to notice on most websites is an advertisement. Now, Netflix, you got the EPA, you got Scott Trade, you got you got all this stuff that pops up in your page. And Yahoo's not particularly bad. But say you want to go on YouTube. And the first thing that's gonna load are videos. Just in your face, boom, advertisement, banner all the way across the screen. Down <laughs> downloading a video. And you got another one right here. For the same movie. Oh, isn't that clever? <laughs> they kind of they match up with each other. So, and then you get another video to load on top of it. And if you have a slow connection like me, this is absolutely a nightmare. Because every page on YouTube is going to have something similar to this, and it's just going to slow you down. So let's say I want to go... Lady Gaga, watch some bad romance. And all over the page, you're getting this junk loading. And that's keeping me away from my video because my, my connection's slow. And the video finally loads. But it doesn't stop there, it only gets worse. So. I browse through a couple more videos, you know, and then I run into this. The ESRB rating for the new Fresh first video game. Spy. And now this is keeping me from my Lady Gaga, and I, I don't, I don't want that. The organization. You can skip it now. You never used to be able to, but now you can. And but even still, it's annoying to have to deal with it. It's just slow. If you have a slow connection it's just going to slow down your page, you're, you're not going to be able to get to your video as fast, and it's going to piss you off after a while. And some websites don't let you even skip the advertisement. So, what are you to do? Well, there is a solution, and that solution is Adblock Plus. And, you know, it, here's the link for Chrome, here's the link for Firefox, and you load the page and right there download now add to Firefox you guys you notice you know 2400 ratings you know five out of five stars everyone loves it 127 million users but still there are a lot of people out there who don't know about it go on YouTube videos, OMG, I, I can't watch my video, I hate ads, oh, oh, screw Vivo, and all this, and they're just, they don't know. So you click add to Firefox, and then click allow up at the top, and you click install now. As you notice, it's a pretty small little download, it's only 600 kilobytes and requests you to restart your browser. Boom, it's installed. Now, one thing, eh, if you're a new user, I'm not. I just uninstalled it from Firefox to show you how to install it. And now, uh, the first thing it's gonna do is ask you to select subscriptions for it and they're they're free subscriptions and what's and it's kind of like antivirus in a way it has the website that the ad comes from and it blocks it and I I can show you that in preferences here and these are my subscriptions they're the ones that are bolded in the list one of them is fanboys list english and look at all of this And I have one of those uh, frictionless mouse wheels on my Logitech mouse. 
I can sharpen a sword on this thing, but I can't get through this list. I mean, it just goes on forever. And you get all this this stuff for porn and YouTube and ESPN, all these all these websites that just give you nothing but ads. Now let's go back to YouTube and see what it does. Now it it's disabled right now. Let's enable it. I watch the magic. Boom. Where the ads go? I, I I don't know. I don't I don't see the ads. Where, where they go? Is, is this dark sorcery? Yep. It is in fact dark sorcery. Let's go back to Lady Gaga and see if we can get to our videos without disaster ensuing. Which one? Oh, I, this one had the ad. Close instantly, and look how fast it's loading. I don't have all this junk trying to load. I don't have the little video right here trying to load. Get to my video and without any trouble. Now, what about your regular web browsing? Let's disable it for now. Go to game winners. You're looking up some cheat codes and stuff, and instantly you get ad boom in your face. And Kmart Gamer, that's kind of funny. You can skip that, but it's just annoying. And then you get all this. You get Best Buy pre order of this game. You get whatever this is. You get Modern Warfare poster, gaming poster, all posters. Girl Nation, Amazon, just all, all this junk that loads that you don't care about. Well, and not to mention it takes a bandwidth, slows down your page loading if you're on a slow connection. It, it, no, we can't have that. So, gonna enable ad block, and most of that junk disappears instantly. Don't have to worry about it anymore. Some of the stuff sticks around until you connect to the website again. But for the most part, you're really not going to see any ads. These aren't advertisements. They're uh, embedded into the page. But if you really want to block them, if, if that PS3 hacker guy really bugs you that much, you know, he pisses me off. And he looks like a goober and he took away my Call of Duty for a month. I can just block that image and I don't have to look at him ever again. And this chick right here, she's hot. I don't like hot chicks. Let's block her too. Boom. Don't have to worry about any of it. Now, say you want to add something back. You can easily do that if you accidentally block something. And it's under preferences and my ad blocking rules and you'll notice that I have this thing from another website unchecked for some reason and then I have what I just disabled so I can uncheck that apply and reload the page and if game winners would ever respond. It could show you. Then it comes right back. So if you block something that you don't want to block, you can easily fix it. But most of the time you won't need to worry. It, it's pretty seamless. And this, this stuff here, I guess is just embedded in the page. It's not really harming anybody. Out. 
I guess in a way they are ads, so I, I don't want them. Let's, let's just get rid of the junk. So now, reload the page, and you don't have to worry about it. So if there's anything that, um, uh, who's sending me a message? Oh, never mind that. So if there's anything that you want to get rid of, you can. That it doesn't catch. Usually it's going to catch everything, but occasionally something slips through, and if it bugs you that much, you can get rid of it if you like. Now, I mean, that's, that's the video. I mean, this Adblock Plus, it's just night and day. It, you can see how much faster my pages load. You know, I don't have to load all the ads. I don't have to watch the the commercials before my YouTube videos. It's just absolutely fantastic, and I want everyone to know about it. So, let me know what you think about it. Uh, let me know about alternatives that are cool. I can test them out, see how they work. Um, let me know how my mic sounds, how my videos look, and just let me know. Give me some feedback so I can maybe improve my videos. And, you know, give me suggestions on what I can do to help make my videos more enjoyable. So, please rate and comment, and have a nice day. Thanks, guys.